Today we're going to learn how to do the Statue of Liberty and how to balance a ball on our strings. The Statue of Liberty is an action that helps you to learn how to hold onto your instrument and put it into playing position by starting from a position of power and strength and then coming down into a relaxed feeling position, which is a really nice place to be when you're playing your viola. So what we'll do first is start with our feet in rest position, which means our feet are right together, and have the viola in rest position. Now I'm going to open my toes and make that V, and before I take the step, I want to get my left hand ready. So I'm going to put my left hand here, thumb in the curve of the neck, have my fingers curved and perched over the signal dot, but this time I'm going to go ahead and hold on here because when I do the statue I want to make sure I have a good hold of the viola. And now, instead of going to find the button with my right hand, I'm just going to let go with my right hand. Watch how I do this once. While I let go with my right hand, I'm going to do the statue and take my step all at the same time. Watch. See how that looks? So now you can try it with me. I'm going to just swing it right back to where it was. My feet are in a V. My hand is holding firmly. And here we go. Let's do it together. Statue of Liberty while you take your step. And now let's put it right back and bring our foot back. Let's do that two more times. Ready? Statue of Liberty, taking your step, and come back, bringing your foot back. One more, here we go. Statue of Liberty, strong muscles, and then bring your foot back, and we're in rest position. So you see how the smoothness of that action can help you learn how to play in a graceful manner. All of these actions are going to help you to be able to be a very fine player. So now, let's do the next step. First, watch me do the statue. I will go up. Now I'm going to bring my hand and find that button and help position the viola on top of my shoulder while I reach down over the chin rest with my jawbone back here. Jawbone, chin rest go together. And you see I have that nice bend in my elbow. So I'm actually ready to play, but there is one way that I want to check to be sure that I'm not holding it too low or too high or not tipping, but having it in a good position. Watch what I do. I'm going to walk around in a circle and pick something up while I still have my viola in playing position. So you can walk around this way in your house if you like to try that. And my fingers can be kind of loose and relaxed while I'm walking. Here's what I picked up. I have two balls here. One is a ping pong ball, the white one, and the pink and white one is just a, a soft rubbery ball. I'm going to start by showing you with the soft rubbery ball what I'll do is I'm going to set the ball on my lower two strings. On the viola that would be C and G two strings at the bottom. And I'm going to set it so that it rests right up against the edge of the bridge, like this. So now if the ball stays on C and G, resting against the bridge, it's in a good position. If I tip too much this way, the ball will fall. Or if I'm a little bit too droopy and the scroll comes down, then the ball will go that way. And sometimes I see students who hold their scroll too high and the ball comes falling toward them. Let's try that with the ping pong ball. This is a lighter ball and it's a little bit bigger, which makes it a little harder. Let's see if I can do it. There it is. I'm standing tall. I have good posture. I have the viola slightly angled in a very good position and I have my left hand ready to play. 